This video is meant to help parents and students uh, make heads and tails of the Ski Club Packet for 2024 um, Sheboygan Middle School and also Sheboygan Intermediate School just for the fifth graders. So the packet has a covered page and that covered page is blue. So it includes everything you need to join Ski Club this year. The first page is an overview including times, dates, and prices. So this is the first page. So this is, this is the schedule for our evening. <clears throat> and then um, down here it is it tells us the bus you know what everything costs and um, safety tips so under the safety tips um, kids need to be dressed for outdoors they need to be dressed as if they're going to be sledding for three hours we've had kids show up without coats uh, lots of kids come without any kind of mittens or gloves um, but what happens often is the kids um, show up in footies and footies aren't going to cut it for ski club because that the boot this either it's a ski uh, snowboard boot or a ski boot it is uh, built to reinforce the ankles to give the ankles extra support and if you have footies on where the boot is kind of squeezing to get to um, give you a little extra support the footies dig into your ankles and cut off your circulation <clears throat> you have to have real socks. The socks should at least um, be ankle socks that go up part, part way up your calf. Knee socks are really perfect, but um, at least ankles, or at least the socks that go up past your, you know, halfway up your calf is perfect. Um, so we're never gonna ski alone. We're gonna use the buddy system, and that's a different page, I'll tell you about that. And, um, you have to use skis, boards, and bindings that have been safety checked for weight and ability. So if you're renting skis from Nubs Knob, this is all taken care of. But if you're bringing your own, um, it, it can't be a snowboard that you bought for sledding at, you know, at Walmart or something. It's got to be an actual snowboard meant for downhill snowboarding at an, at an alpine ski, ski place. Um, and we're always going to ski under control. So that that's um, so that's that first page is that or I'm sorry yeah it's this first page okay so the second page is a list of ski club rules and it also has the ski club dates at the bottom <clears throat> so these are the rules and um, they're very common sense rules the release form and medical treatment must be completed before you ski this is in addition to the medical treatment form that you completed on the first day of school. That form stays in the office. I need a medical treatment form that I can take with me to Nubs Knob every time we ski. So you have to complete a second form. Um, and they're all gonna be due um, to me by January 12th before we go. Um, all ski club students must travel by the bus to and from Nubs Knob. All students must abide by the rules of Nubs Knob and Sheboygan Middle School. Luckily, most of those rules jive, but um, if you're signed up for a lesson, I expect you to be at that lesson. Um, if you are caught skiing on a hill much harder than you have been cleared to ski on, you are done. So you need to follow the rules. And that's for your safety and other people's safety. Um, so, so that's number four. Your personal safety and the safety of others must be taken into consideration at all times. This means that beginners will not be skiing the expert slopes or the moguls. And none of our ski club is allowed in the terrain park. And that's a nubs knob rule, but I agree with it. So um, I don't care how good a skier you are, you are not allowed in the terrain park if you're skiing uh, with the ski club. Uh, they do have, they actually they do have a, um, a bunny train park that the kids can go on. That's, that's on the bunny hill. Um, so you're, stu you're subject to Sheboygan Area Schools discipline code for the entire trip. So if you do something that would be a write-up on the trip, it will be a write-up Monday morning. Um, all beginners must take at least two lessons. Personal belongings and electronics are the sole responsibility of the student. That means you can bring them. You can bring them on the bus. You can take them skiing with you. I am not watching them for you. I am not holding them for you. They are your responsibility. There are lockers there if you'd like to um, use one. Mostly the kids um, just put all their stuff in a bag and the bags are kind of in a pile in the rental building, but um, that's totally up to you. Um, boys and girls don't sit together on the bus unless 
um, crowding makes it necessary, and then I tell you who sits where. If a rule is broken, the offender may not be permitted on subsequent trips this school year. So, and I'm serious about that, you guys. Um, skiing is an inherently dangerous sport, and if you're not following the rules and, and skiing carefully, things can happen. All right, so the ski club dates for this year are here. The, um, and there's five dates. And it says, if you're interested in being a chaperone, please call the school and a chaperone packet will be sent home with your student. Okay, so that's the second page. Then the third page is a green page. This is the emergency release form. So you have, there's a white one on file in the office. I have to have this one with me. So this needs to be filled out again. Sorry, but that's how we have to do it. And then the orange page is the parent release form. So the students can put their name and the phone number and can I text you yes or no. Um, obviously, if your student gets hurt, I'm gonna call you, I'm not gonna text you, but, um, but just kids sometimes have questions or whatever. Um, and then please name two other people that you are most likely to ski or snowboard with. Just because you put somebody's name down here doesn't mean that you have to ski with them every single trip. But um, just so we know, we have a general idea of who to ask when we're looking for you, things like that. So there's some things here to check. It says, I am an experienced skier or snowboarder who has been skiing for at least three years and do not require a lesson. If you are one of these people, you have your own equipment. Parent initial, and I would expect that you'll be bringing your own equipment. I am a bigger, I'm sorry, I am a beginner or advanced beginner skier, skier or boarder who will require one or more lessons to gain control. The lesson is, one lesson is required for all students renting equipment. Two lessons are required for all beginning students who have never skied before. And um, one lesson is required. If some, sometimes kids have skied a little bit before. And so that would be a one, one lesson requirement. Um, and so then, so if you checked up here, then you have, you'll check here that you have your own equipment. Or you might check here that you have um, oh, no, okay, so if you if you have your own equipment, it says including a helmet. If you don't have a helmet, you need to let me know because I've got extra helmets you can borrow. Helmets are required for a ski club. And then you can rent your own equipment, which includes a helmet, or sometimes people have their own helmets, but they need to rent equipment. So check whichever that is. Then the student needs to sign it and the parent needs to sign this. So this is saying that you've read the rules and you understand <clears throat> that if you're signed up for a lesson, you will show up for that lesson. When the bus leaves at nine and I say, you need to have your equipment turned in by 8.45, you will have your equipment turned in at 8.45. Um, when the bus arrives at the school at 9.45, a parent or guardian or somebody will be there to pick you up. Those are the things that you're signing. Um, then the next page is white and this is nub knob liability form. This is only required if you're renting skis from Dubs Knob. So if you have your own equipment, you do not need to return this. And it says essentially what I've already told you. Skiing is an inherently dangerous sport. And, um, and it's just a liability release that says you understand that you're skiing, <laughs> okay? Um, and then the last page. Okay, so this is what needs to get turned in with the ski club money. And this is the biggest problem because I get people just throw money at me without one of these attached. Um, or I don't get their name. People don't put their name on here. So this is how this should be done. The form should be filled out with... Here, let me take it out of here. It should have... Most importantly, the person's name on it. People hand me these forms in a baggie full of cash with no name on it. And, it, and even though I asked you and I reminded you not to do it last year, I still got two like that last year. Put your name on the form. Then I also need to know your grade because yes, while I know you, I don't necessarily remember which grade you're in. And I also need to know if you're skiing or snowboarding. Then, if uh, this, I don't necessarily need to know. Um, <clears throat> if you want a lift ticket, you're gonna circle here. If it's your first time skiing, you don't need a lift ticket. You're not gonna get off the bunny hill and the bunny hill is free to ski. You don't need a lift ticket to ski on that. That's the learn to ski hill. So the first day you're not gonna need a lift ticket. Uh, if you've skied before, then yes, of course you can get a lift ticket. Um, 
Then you need to choose, are you renting skis or are you renting snowboards? This person is a snowboard rental. You're not gonna rent both of them. You, it's one or the other, so choose. And you're gonna circle that. Um, this person I said was in sixth grade and didn't, um, uh, actually, they, let's say it's the last time and they didn't need a lesson. I was just trying to make a sample. And so the total was $30 and this person put cash. So they, they did it in a baggie and I don't care. There's, this is just how a lot of people do it. So the slip is in the baggie with the name on it. The name is so important, you guys, because if you miss something here, I, if I know your name, I can chase you down and figure this out. But if I don't know your name, I'm not sure whose it is. The other way to do it is to put it in an envelope. So um, you can put a check in the envelope and put the name on here and just circle what you need. For families that have more than one child skiing, more than one student skiing, you don't need to write two checks. You just put, two, put the two slips on the envelope or in the baggie and just one check in the baggie is fine. You, um, you don't need to write a separate one for each kid. The, there's six of these. We only have five ski dates. So these there should be enough slips here for to um, for you to last the whole ski season. I hope this helps. If you still have questions, please give the school a call. And um, you can either ask for me, but a lot of times um, Mrs. LaRock and Mrs. Ingalls will have the answers. Thank you.